Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. My next guest is an author and self-described serial entrepreneur who has woven the tale of her involvement in a cult into a fascinating and very personal story. Renee Linnell is author of In the Burn Zone, a memoir. Welcome to Bay Area Focus. Thank you, it's okay. nice to be here. All right, so you went through a lot. Um, yeah. Let's just first start with how you got involved in what you're calling a cult. Yes, it was a cult. And it's amazing because there is the stereotype that I thought that kind of stupid um, people end up in cults. But I parallel it to any toxic relationship, which is in the beginning there's romance and there's making you feel seen and cherished and understood. And the abuse works its way in slowly. And for me, I was always searching for something more than what I was learning in church and in school. And most of my family died when I was young, so I was a seeker. And I walked into a meditation seminar and I felt this incredible peace and I stayed. And then what happened after that? When did the, the light go off saying, okay, something's wrong here? It took a while. And again, like a toxic, like you go on a first date and if somebody hits you or says something abusive, you're not going on a second date, but they build you up and they make you feel empowered. And so this group used career as our spiritual practice. And so every moment in our career was an offering to the divine. And so in the beginning, the first couple of years, it was a lot of sharpening your mind through meditation, really excelling at your career. We had to get black belts in karate. Um, these incredibly powerful tasks. Which I, this all sounds positive. Yeah. yeah. And I was a professional dancer. I became a computer programmer. Um, and then they started introducing self-doubt. And I had to sand away my ego to become more spiritual and saint-like. Um, and so then she started pointing out everything that was wrong with me and um, how I had to become more saint-like. And so that took a couple years um, before that was introduced. But by then my support structure was gone. My friends and family were no longer a part of my life and activities. Because of this? Because like you were cut off from the rest of the world. Well, I was spending so much time. I was meditating two hours a day. I was um, working full time. I was studying computer programming at night and then spending all my time with the group when I had free time. So then the group think starts to kick in. And once the support structure's gone, um, they really have control. Mm -hmm. How does this happen? Because as, as you said, you're an entrepreneur, you have a double degree, you've traveled to nearly 50 countries, you're a competitive uh, Argentine tango dancer, <laughs> yeah. uh, you've had businesses. How does someone like you fall prey to others? I think any time we let anyone else tell us who we are, we set ourselves up. Um, and I think there's a deep need in the human psyche to be understood and to be seen and cherished. And I realize we come into this world as these beautiful beings of love. We're the only version of us there is. We're completely unique. And then we try to blend in and fit in in childhood and adolescence, and we hide the differences in us. Um, and then we're desperate to find somebody who sees us as unique. Mm -hmm. And when that person comes along, a lot of times we give our power away to that person. You know, you're very successful and you were very successful when you entered this. Um, and they said career is very important. And so you were working a lot, making a lot of money. Did you give a lot of money yes. to this? Yes, so the more money we made, the more money we gave to them. But then we could justify it because we were making the money because we were being coached to make the money. So yes, the tuition went from $5 an event to $100 an event to $500 a month to $1,200 a month. So your book is called The Burn Zone. Yes. What is The Burn Zone? The Burn Zone was how the spiritual teacher described the front row of the auditorium because she sat so close to her and she was so powerful. But once I went through everything I went through and my entire life shattered, I realized The Burn Zone is when we live a life that's not authentically ours. If we're lucky, life comes along and shatters us. And if we're willing to endure the crucible and stick it out, we come out the other side softer, kinder, more authentic, more true to who we truly are, and ready to be on our real divine path. Mm. This spiritual leader happened to be a woman. Yes. Do you think that made you connect a little bit more, maybe trust her a little bit more? Definitely. 
And my father died when I was 15, and the rest of my family died before that, except for my mother and brother, and my mother was an alcoholic and emotionally abusive. Mm -hmm. So I never had a strong female influence. So when this woman came along and said, not only am I going to teach you how to find peace inside your mind, but I'm going to teach you how to really make it in the world, I said, yeah, sign me up. Any advice for others out there, especially seekers? <clears throat> yes. You know, and it sounds cliche that it's already inside you, but we have got to find a way to love ourselves and to stop looking for something outside of us to fill the void or to make us feel special. And we have to start celebrating what's within us that makes us different, the things we tried to hide when we were younger. Because when we do that, then we realize that we're unique in these amazing ways and that our difference is our destiny. And then life becomes so much more fun because you're not trying to be something you're supposed to be. You get to just be what you are. And so then the joy and the love is inside you coming out towards others. So. Wow, that is such a good point. Thank you so much for sharing your Thank story. You. And we're glad that you came out on the other side. Thank you. All Me right. too. Thanks so much. Don't forget to check out The Burn Zone, a memoir. It is available on Amazon right now. Coming up, a fundraiser for the Ohlone College Hilltop Gala when Bay Area Focus returns in just a moment.